<clears throat> All right. Hello, everyone. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Everyone's joining. Cameras don't have to be on, but if you want to chuck them on, please do. All right. Let's make sure if you can, we've got the right names displayed there. Wow, that is a really exciting background there, Omar, and a nice filter there, your moustache. That looks good on you. Flash forward to a couple of years' time. Hey, Will. Thank you. Will and Annabelle, how are you going? Hey, guys, how are you? All right, so today's session, guys, we're going to start with a fairly similar um, progression as we did last week. We're not going to get cracking just yet. Um, so, Xavier, you've got time to finish your snack there, mate. Um, we're going to do the Patty Mills skills, but we're going, to, we're going to challenge you a little bit more this week. Okay, so we're going to move around. So you'll need a little bit of space where you are. Um, with our Patty Mills skills, we are going to move around a little bit. So make sure you've got your basketball. Make sure you've got a drink bottle. Um, for those of you that are outdoors, preferably if we can have somewhere to go that might be indoors, I think we're expecting some rain. That's why I'm in my shed today. Um, I'm just going to share the session plan so that everyone can have a quick look at it if there's any parents there. <clears throat> One second. Here we go. That should be coming up on your screen now. Mossy is sharing. So here's our session plan, guys. We'll work through today. As I mentioned, you'll need your basketball, enough space to move around. If you've got a partner or a wall that you can use to pass to, that would be ideal. I've got my little toss back net here that I'm going to do some passing to. We are going to work on some passing today. So hopefully you've got a wall or you've got a brother or sister or a parent that might be able to pass with you. Um, you won't need a hoop today, but if you've got a hoop where you are and you're able to keep shooting on it, either indoors or outdoors, that's great because you can always do some shooting in the drinks breaks and stuff like that. Uh, appropriate clothing, drink bottle. You will need some cones. We're gonna do some passing at Target. So you'll need some cones. If we get to our Olympics, we can use toilet paper or cones and obviously you'll need your tablet um, and some speakers. And if you've got a chair nearby, that'd be great as well. So our first drill we're gonna do is the Paddy Mills skills. You guys have done these before, some body wraps some figure eights. Um, some toss and catch. Then we've got our jump, stop, pivot and pass that we did last week. We're going to build on that. We've got a new drill, a dribble and a pass to a target drill. And if we have time, we'll finish off with the Olympics and Paralympics with our uh, drinks break and quiz in the middle there. Okay. All right. So we're going to get going. We're going to do a bit of a warm up. So you won't need your basketball. Just stepping back from the camera and we're going to start with our warm up. I'm going to get my timer on. All body weight exercises for our warm up. 
Okay, and we are just going to start jogging on the spot, nice and easy, just jogging on the spot for 30 seconds, moving those arms and legs. You won't need your basketball just yet. We'll get that involved pretty soon. So just pumping those arms and knees, jogging on the spot. If you've got space and you want to jog up and down the space, that's fine. If you've got enough space, if you don't like jogging on the spot, you're like me and you prefer to move from side to side, that's okay as well. Three, two, one. Okay, next exercise is high knees. So I'll go from the side so you can see me nice and easy. High knees, so we're pumping our arms and driving our knees up. Again, if you've got enough space, if you're outside or if you've got a heap of space inside, you can do this one up and down the room or in the space that you've got. Make the most of what we have access to right now. Even if you've got to get five to 10 laps to make it like a full court. That's okay. It's going to improve our change of direction. Good job. Three, two, one. Okay, resting. Now we're going to do some side to side skips. So we've done our high knees, we've done our jogging on the spot. We are going to need to move side to side. Okay, I've only got about where I am here, my left hand's essentially on the wall. I've only got about four or five meters. So we're not, we're not in a defensive slide just yet. We're just in a, almost like a side hop. So we're just hopping from side to side like so. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. So you can almost like tap your feet together. So it's like boom, boom, boom. And you're tapping your feet together and you're moving side to side, facing the camera the whole time. So try not to just turn and run straight Turn and run straight. Try and keep your face pointing at me. I can see a few of you just running <laughs> side to side, which is better than nothing, but try and stay looking at me. That's it. Good job. That's good job. Where are you, Ollie? You look like you were just running up and down that, the lounge room there, mate. That's better. Side to side, Ollie. Good boy. Okay. Three, two, one. Good job. Hold it there. Excellent, guys. Well done. Couple of quick stretches, okay? We always got to stretch out and limber up. Okay, so we're gonna do a quad stretch. So you gotta grab your foot. So we're gonna stretch the front of our leg here. Grab your foot and bring it up. Bit of a stretch, Omar, you got a mask on. COVID safe, even via Zoom. Good job, mate. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, just a gentle leg stretch. Then we'll go the other leg. Good work, focus on your balance here. Try and focus on one point on the ground. So that we're not shimmying around, we're not moving around too much like Ollie. Ollie is about to fall over there. Grab your foot and then bring it up, mate. So if you've got to reach down, grab your foot, or you can do it lying on the ground if that's a bit easier. Good job, Ollie. <laughs> awesome. All right, and a quick hamstring stretch. So just standing up. We can just go two hands straight down to the ground. Try and touch your toes, try and keep your back as straight as possible. Okay, if you prefer to go one leg at a time, you can put I'm gonna do my right leg, I'm gonna put my right heel down and a slight bend in my left leg. And then I'm gonna come down and touch this right, right toe. And then I'm gonna to go to the other side. So five minutes should be all we'll need for warm up. And then we're gonna get our basketballs out and we're gonna get into our Patty Mills skills. Remember, guys, you're on mute right now, but feel free to put your microphone on if you want. If you've got any questions or you can use the chat function, totally up to you. Keep your drink bottle nearby. Hi. Hello. Hi, Omar. I'm going to regret this, aren't I, saying put your, put your uh, unmute your microphones, but I want you guys to stay as engaged in the session as possible. So if you've got any questions, fire away. All right, guys, time to grab your basketballs. Here we go, Patty Mills skills. We're going to build up really quickly. Paddy Mills skills. So last week we started with, last week we started with just gentle tosses back and forth. We're going to start with that again, but we're going to quickly Thank move you. on to some challenges. Here we go. Hello. Uh, here we go, guys. Just back and forth. Here we go. Side to side. Okay, we're gonna go up over our head with those little toss, little side to side fingertips. So it still looks like this, 
but it's up over our head. We're raising our arms up, little tosses, back down to chest height, then we go down to our legs. Now we're sort of flipping the, the ball from under our, under our hand. So we've got our, our hand sort of under the ball and we're flipping it up. Looks like this, looks like that, but down at my legs. So flipping it from hand to hand, nice and low. So we're still stretching, still just building up into the session. Good work. Okay, now we're gonna go ball slaps. Okay, so it sounds really silly, but this is a great way to get used to your hands on the ball. So you can have one hand under, and you can slap on the top, roll it over, slap on the other hand, but just get used to the feel of that basketball in your hands, how it feels, how your hand needs to be shaped around it. And this is just a really good drill to help us get used to catching the ball. Okay, when we go up and we rebound and we've got to grab the ball, we want to grab it nice and strong. So we're just slapping the ball like so. Good. Couple of slaps, nice and strong in your hands. All right, let's go with some body wraps. Now with our body wraps today, with our body wraps, we've been working on this a little bit. We're going around our middle, okay? But some of you may need to just roll that around your stomach. That's okay. See here, I'm just rolling it around. That's perfect. What I want you to do, come on, Ollie, what are you doing, mate? Roll it around your body, here we go. What I want you to do to challenge yourself now Okay, if you're able to roll it around or if you're able to pass it around, that's great. I want you to start walking around. So I want you to start moving. Okay, so see how I'm gonna move around here. So we're just working, holy. So we're just working a little bit on our coordination. Okay, having to do two things at once. All right, now we're gonna go, ready? Ready for this one? Okay, this is gonna challenge you a little bit. We're we're gonna go around our leg. So we're gonna go around both legs. Okay, like we did last week. Around both legs, you may need to put it to the ground and roll it around the ground. Okay, the next level up from that is put it against your leg and roll it around your leg. Okay, and then it's gonna be a little bit harder to move, but I want you to think about a figure of eight. So if we're moving, so we're actually gonna roll the ball around our leg and then step forward with the other leg and roll it in between our legs, like so. So I step forward, so you see if I step forward with my left leg here, I've got the ball pressed against my right, I can just bring it through and press it against my left leg and roll it through. If you're able to wrap it, if you're able to, if your hands are big enough and you're able to pass it from hand to hand, I just want you to do some walking figure of eights like this. You turn around, walking figure of eights like this. So again, we're just getting into that basketball movement, that basketball shape. We're starting to build up now. And we're stepping as we do our figure of eight. Good job. Excellent work. Stepping, stepping. Awesome. All right, come back to the camera now. Stop moving around. So now we're going to build in to some ball handling. So we're going to do some Paddy Mill skills ball handling. All right, so everyone get, find your own space. We're just gonna start with a really basic right hand dribble. Okay, so following along with what I'm doing, I can see you all, I've got two cameras here. I can see you all. So following along with me, right hand, just pound dribble, just a normal dribble. We want that ball to come back to our hand somewhere between our knee, somewhere between our knee and our chest, ideally about hip height is about where we want that to come back. Let's just get really comfortable with that right hand dribble. I can see someone going behind the back already. Wow, wait. Okay, we're gonna get to that, my friend. <laughs> Who's that? Going behind the back, keep going. Harrison, wow, wait, Harrison, how's the handles? All right, let's go left hand dribble. Oop. Left hand pound dribble. So just a left hand pound control dribble, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, we're not quite moving around just yet. We're working on our skills here, keeping our head up, eyes on me. Eyes forward, eyes on me. Dribbling with that left hand. Okay, come back to the right now. <clears throat> Follow my lead. So we're gonna go a couple of control dribbles and then we're gonna come down really low. So try and go in one movement, down low and then build it back up. 
So we're high. We've got our control dribble. Boom, down low. Get down low. So squat down. See how quickly you can get it. Bouncing on the floor. Boom, 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 boom. Then come back up. Come back up. One more time with our right hand. Then we're going to do that with our left. It's pretty challenging. But I can see some of you already trying to go through the legs. Give it your best shot, Annabelle. If you're dribbling with two hands, you can do this with two hands as well. Here we go, down low. Get down as low as you can with that dribble. You gotta do it with two hands, that's okay. Little two hand dribbles, then come back up and build it back up. Great job, great job. Then we're gonna go with the left. So we're gonna start with our control dribble on our left hand now. Eyes on me. Look down at the ball every now and then if you need to. And when I come down nice and low, we're going to go down nice and low. Here we go. As low as you can. That's going to be different for different kids. Good. So you might go two hands. Two hands down now if you're still learning that dribble. And then come back up. Good. Because we've got some mini hoopers. We've got some Aussie hoopers. The Aussie hoopers, if you're a bit older, if you're between five and ten, you need to start learning how to control that dribble down to the ground. Here we go. We're going low again. Let's go low. Down low. Down dribble, all fingertips. That's all fingertips here. There's no movement. Come back up. That's good. You can do it. Well, eight, you can do it. Here we go. Back up to our hips. One more time down to the ground. And then we've got one more Patty Mills skills drill. Here we go. Down low. Right down low, get as low as you can. Bend your knees, sit down low. Bend your knees, don't just bend at your back. Good job, Ollie. Good job, get low. And come back up. Awesome. Great job. Okay. Last one. We did it last week. I'm going to add a new, I'm going to add a new element to it. So you're going to get style points here. So we did it last week. You toss the ball up. Clap as many times as you can. Now I'm in a shed this week. All right, so you, I'm going to have to throw it up, let it bounce, all right? But I'm going to watch you guys. I'm going to watch you guys. I want to see some stylish moves. So the only rule is, the only rule is you have to throw the ball up and you have to catch it. Whatever you do in between is up to you. So I might throw the ball up and I might spin around and catch it. Careful where you are. Make sure you don't fall over. Make sure you don't run into anything if you've got stuff around you. Okay, I might throw it up, spin the other way and catch it. Okay, I might throw it up and try and catch it in between my legs. Throw it up, catch it in between the other legs. All right, I'm going to watch you guys. I want to see you guys. Show me your best attempt. Show me the, show me the style points here. Show me your spin move or something. Throw the ball up. Good job, Ollie. Nice spin. Awesome. Good save, good claps, that's fine. Get as many claps as you can. Harrison, you're just crossing people up, going between the legs. Good job, Emmy. still going with the claps. What do you got, Annabelle? You got a spin move or something? Throw the ball up. Good job, Harvey, you got a spin there. Throw it up, let it bounce if you need more time. Awesome, Patty. Good work, guys. Excellent. Excellent. Well done, guys. All right, let's hold it there. Excellent work. I loved all those spin moves, a few stylish moves there. Grab a quick drink. Grab a really quick drink, and we're going to move into our, our, pass, our, our, our dribble and pivot and pass move. So you'll need, a, you'll need a, a, a partner or a wall or something you can hopefully throw the ball against to practice your passing. If you, Yeah, have you got a question there? I don't think it's Omar, maybe Omar's sister. Who's that? It's Omar's sister. It's Omar's sister. Have you got a question, Omar's sister? Yep. Mm. What's your name? Aya. Aya. Aya, that's right. <laughs> have you got a question or are you just putting your hand up? Um, I forgot. You forgot. Got, All right. We great. got 126 each. You got 126 each. You guys are breaking world records. Anyone else have any questions? Before we get into our dribble pass, uh, sorry, dribble pivot and pass drill. I'm still here. I'm just at my computer. So we've got our next drill, guys. We worked on it last week. 
it's really, it, it is difficult to work on a pivot foot. I understand that and, and to sort of teach the pivot move um, with, uh, with, with, without being here in person, but we're going to do our best, okay? We're going to do our best. So again, just for you guys, what a pivot is, okay? What a pivot is, is if I receive the ball, okay? So I've got a little net here. You guys, I'll show you guys the net just so you know what I'm working with here in my shed. I've just got a little toss back net there. So you can see how that works. So I can pass it to myself in here without making too much noise and waking up my uh, waking up my housemates, okay? So what a pivot is, all right, is if I'm tossing the ball and I'm receiving the pass, okay, I'm receiving a pass from someone and I land on two feet. So remember last week we worked on coming to that two foot stop, all right? So as the ball's in the air, I land on two feet. I can choose whichever foot I want to be my pivot foot. So right now I'm going to choose my left foot. So the foot closest to you in the camera there. Okay. And I'm going to just spin almost like there's a nail in my foot and it's keeping my foot to the ground. I know that's a bit gory for you. Or imagine your foot is just pinned to the ground and you've just got to spin around. Your shoe's pinned to the ground. And now I'm facing this way. Okay. So I can pivot 360. I can go all the way around. I can go the other way. Okay. I just cannot pick up this pivot foot here, this left leg. I can't pick that up until I take a dribble. Now I take a dribble, I can do what I like. All right. So again, it's, it could be, could be receiving a pass. It could be a rebound. Okay. It could be a rebound. You jump up and grab a rebound or just grab a loose ball and you need to pivot. But the skill of pivoting, is, is really, really important. Really important move in our footwork. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna move my camera so that you guys can see both the net and where I'm dribbling. So there's my little net. Okay, I'm gonna start at my net. So for you guys, this net might be a wall. It might be a partner. Might be a, it might be your mum or dad who's helping you with the passing drill today. I'm gonna take four or five dribbles away from the net. Two, four. Come to my two foot stop, okay? I'm gonna start with a left foot pivot. So again, this time, cause I'm on the other side of the, the camera, it's the, other, it's the other leg. So I'm gonna pivot around, keeping my left foot down. And then I'm gonna step, okay, with my right leg, cause my left foot's still down as a pivot foot. And I'm gonna step into a chest pass. So remember our chest pass, we step forward, okay? I'm right-handed, so I step forward with my right foot and I push that, pass out from my chest okay if you're passing at a wall you want to pass it so that it, it either comes back to you on the full or comes back on the bounce okay i'm just going to pass that and then i'm going to dribble back and i'm going to start again okay so i want to do five pivots on our left foot so five dribbles one two three four five jump stop i'll move back into camera here jump stop Okay, I'm gonna pivot on my left. So my left foot stays down and I spin. I step forward into my pass and I dribble back. All right, here we go. Five, five dribbles, come to a jump stop. I'm gonna move my camera here. Come to a jump stop. Might move my camera so it's coming straight at you guys. Here we go. Straight down the line up against the wall. So. You can see here now I've got my partner behind me, which is my net. I'm going to take five dribbles at you. I'm going to stop. I'm pivoting on my left foot and I'm going to step into a chest pass. Ooh, it's a, that pass wasn't very accurate. Okay. So again, dribble, dribble, dribble. Come to a two foot stop. Spin on that foot. So there's a nail through your shoe. You can't pick that foot up. Step forward into a pass and then dribble back to your partner. Okay. Let's do that five times on our left foot, five times on our right foot. Here we go. Good job, Anna. Well done, Patty. Excellent. Good job, Harrison. Harrison, you got a wall there. You can do some passing to Xavier. Good job. Keep working, guys. Again, I know pivoting is a really tough skill to work on. We're going to do some stuff in a second. I'm just going to show you guys some tricks to work on that. Good job. If you've got a basket and you want to start under the basket, okay, if you've got a basket that you can shoot on in your basketball, you might start under your basket, okay? You might dribble, you can mix it up and you can dribble away from your basket. 
two or three dribbles come to a come to a two foot stop and you could pivot and turn around and shoot instead of pass if you wanted to if you want to mix it up i'm happy for you guys to do that those of you that have got access to a hoop there once you've done five on each leg come back to the camera give me a thumbs up so i know you've done it oh, i know you're uh, you're on the same page as me zave thumbs up what well on zave see so you working hard there that's not ollie <laughs> Harvey, good job making some shots up. Guys, if you finish early, good job, Harrison. If you finish early and you want to grab a drink or get some shots up, please do. I encourage it. Keep moving. Don't stand still. Is everyone, everyone thumbs up? Yep. That looks like Sasha there. Thumbs up. How are you going, Patty? Have you done your pivots? Pivot on left, pivot on right. Harvey's done it. Well done, Harvey. Oh, he's moved to the, uh, he's moved to the hoop. Smart. All right, good stuff, guys. All right, so with our pivoting, again, I know it's a, it's a really tough skill to teach through, um, through Zoom, but it's one that if you can start to work on it while we're, while we're in lockdown, you come back to the gym for our sessions or you come back to games and things like that, a pivot, a pivot is such a really uh, a useful move, okay, to be able to create angles for passes. So it's something that I work on in my free time all the time. Now, I don't, Admittedly, I don't just do it in my shed with a, with a net. I use the hoop, okay? But there is ways that you can incorporate when you go out to just shoot in your backyard or wherever your hoop is, incorporate um, some pivoting, okay? So don't just go out, shoot, you know, the ball lands, shoot again, the ball lands over here, shoot again. Think about your footwork before you shoot, okay? So if I get... Whoever that is, sorry guys, it sounds like we've got an angry baby in the background. So if I'm shooting, right? If I'm if I'm going out and I'm having some just some free time, I'm just working on some shooting. Always remember that when the ball, when you rebound the ball and you catch it and you go back to your, your spot to shoot, okay. If I get the ball here, mix in some pivots, okay. So mix in some pivots, all right, before you go to shoot. So that, they can be left foot down. Pivot forward, pivot back, spin around, pivot, keep that foot down, and then go into your shot, okay? For Aussie Hoops kids, if you're already playing basketball regularly, you might work on dribbling into your shot. Oh, I'm muted. Sorry, guys. No, I'm not. Yeah, Patty, yeah, I'll upload the video as well, mate. Yep. All right, so if you're working, if you're working, you might be working on your dribble, okay? You might dribble up to your hoop. Okay, instead of just going straight into a shot or a layup, come to a two foot stop. So dribble, get to here, get to a two foot stop, choose a pivot foot. Okay, I've worked on my left quite a bit. I'm gonna work on my right now. Okay, so I might actually reverse pivot. So now my right foot is the one that's nailed to the ground. And then I might go into my shot or my layup. Okay, work on those pivots, build them into the, the, the games and the, and the free shooting that you're having at home, okay? Really good stuff, guys. All right, grab a really quick drink if you haven't already, and we're going to move into our next drill. You'll need, um, you, you'll need a cone or a target of some description. You'll need some space. Now, that cone or target, if you like, it could be. Um, I've got, I've just got a, a, a training cone here, a couple of cones that I'm going to use here. Okay, like this. All right, I'm going to put them on the ground. It could be. Uh, you could have drawn. Get your parents' permission first, obviously, but you might have drawn with chalk on the wall. Okay, you might be using you might be using a, a spot on the wall, or if you're lucky, unlike me, and you've got a parent or a partner that's out, outside helping you right now, you might just pass to your partner. Okay, so really simple drill. All we're going to do is again similar to our our, our pivot and pass drill. We're going to take a a couple of cones, all right? I'm gonna place one about here, okay? And then I wanna place one about five meters forward, okay? So if you've got the space, as much space as you can, and we're gonna mix up our passing, uh, sorry, our dribbling. What we need to be able to do is we need to be able to dribble. So if I'm gonna dribble right now, I wanna bring the camera so that you guys can see my net again. We're working on dribbling into a pass, okay? So I've got my toss back net that I'm gonna to pass to. 
you guys might have your parent or your brother or sister or a partner, but I'm going to start back here at the cone. I'm going to work on some dribbling, okay? Because I've played basketball a bit longer, I'm going to do some through the legs dribbling and I'll challenge myself. So obviously we can do this at a level where we're just dribbling one hand, right hand, and then we're passing, okay? And then dribbling back, all right? Or you guys can mix it up, okay? If you want to go through the legs, through the legs, through the legs, pass, and then through the legs back, okay? I want you to mix it up and challenge yourself, all right? But we're basically, we're working on dribbling and then stepping into a pass straight from that dribble, okay? So what that might look like at full speed is dribble, 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 straight into a pass, dribble back, okay? And then I'm gonna just keep going, okay? Until I get, oh, that's not a great pass, until I get five passes in, okay? So I'm dribbling out, I'm coming back around my cone, dribble, 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 pass, and back out, okay? So we're working on our handles, okay? And we're working on our passing. If you don't have a partner, if you're only working with a cone, you can see my cone here, this poor, poor, poor cone. That's my target, okay? So now I'm dribbling through the legs, through the legs, through the legs. Oh, I'm knocking my cone over. All right, I need to knock that cone over five times, okay? Like a, like a bowling pin. Am I allowed to use my bush? A bush? Yeah, you can use a bush. Uh, I don't know. You need to ask your parent. <laughs> you might you might kill the bush. I don't want to kill any uh, foliage it's out there. Hard bush. It's a hard bush. Oh, it's a hard bush, is it? How hard? Uh, is that you, Ollie? Why don't you just pass to Zach? Get Zach out there and get him to do some passing with you, mate. <laughs> Zach um, is helping mum and dad. Okay, do you want to just pass to one of those poles you've got behind you? It's probably better to pass to something hard than a bush, mate. I don't want to, I don't want to get in trouble with the parents. Well, the pole's holding you guys. Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> what about one of the poles atop the veranda? All right, guys, everyone jump up and give that a go. I can see everyone having a go at that now. Good job, Zena. Good job, the, Vivian. What about the D-man? Yeah, the D-man might work. You might have to throw it off the base of the D-man because it's hard. Otherwise, or you can knock the D-man over with your pass if you want. Good job, Vivian. Hamish, you could use that bin as a target. That'd be perfect. You dribble at the bin and make a pass. Good job, guys. Keep working. Good stuff. Good job, guys. Okay, if you need a little bit more of a challenge, eyes on me. If you've completed five dribbles and passes now, if you've got less space, okay, or you need a bit more of a challenge, here's what we can do before we throw our pass. Really simple. So we're still going to add our dribble. So I'm just, I'm, I'm still going, I'm going to go behind the back. So I'm going to zigzag to my cone. Okay, I'm zigzagging to my cone. When I get to my cone, I'm going to go figure of eight, figure of eight, pass. Okay, so before I pass it each time, so I'm going behind the back, behind the back, before I pass it each time, I'm just going to throw in a quick figure of eight. So boom, boom, pass. All right, again, I'm just working on my hand-eye coordination. Okay, I'm changing direction now rather than dribbling straight at my cone. Again, so I'm going right, left, right. When I get here, figure of eight, figure of eight, big pass into my net or to my partner. I get the ball back and then I'm zigzagging, changing direction as I move away. Give that a go if you haven't tried that already. Add in a figure of eight move before you throw your pass at your cone or whatever your target is. Again, figure of eight, figure of eight, chest pass. Or you could get here and you could go behind the back. You could go wrap, body wrap, body wrap, chest pass. Mix it up. Any questions, fire them through. Good job, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on you guys. We've got one more drill after this and then we're gonna get into our, uh, we might even go, oh yeah, I reckon we'll have time for our Olympics and Paralympics today, for those that wanna join in. We are gonna have time for that today, which is terrific. Once you've done that, guys, if you've just had a go at the figure of eight through the legs before passing, give us a thumbs up. 
come back to the camera, give us a thumbs up. Don't mind my dog in the background there. She's just, that's my coach. <laughs> Whose coach is that? It's got food all over their face. <laughs> is, that your, is that your little brother or sister, Vivian? Yeah, she had a donut or something. All right, guys. So for our Paralympics and our Olympics, what you'll need for the first drill we're going to do, grab a couple of cones or markers. All right. A couple of cones, a couple of markers. All right, our first exercise is a long jump, okay? So you'll need two markers. You'll need two markers. I've got two out here right now. All right, I want you to place one down. We're each gonna get three or four attempts at this long jump, all right? So I'm gonna place this cone here at my feet. All right, when I say long jump, there's no, well, I'm not going to do a run up. You guys can have a run up if you want. Whenever we do this, everyone gets really creative with the rules. But I would prefer it to not be a run up, okay? Because not everyone has space to do a full run up. So I'm just going to do a big two legged hop. So two feet, same time, okay? And I've got to stick the landing. So I'm going to start with my arms and eye. I'm going to swing them through as I bend my knees and my hips. I'm holding on to my other marker, okay? So I've got it in my hand here. You can use sticks rocks, whatever you like to mark your jump. Okay, I'm gonna swing my legs forward and back. And I'm gonna jump out, okay? And I'm gonna mark that spot with my cone, wherever my heels are, all right? I want you to have three or four attempts at that. This is our long jump, okay? This is our long jump. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna come back to my cone and I've gotta try and beat that jump there. Okay, I'm gonna try and beat that jump. So another big, I start up nice and high. I start on my toes. Swing my arms through. Woo! Heaps longer. Okay, so now I move my cone forward because I jumped a bit further. All right, well, you need to keep your cones where they are. Don't pick them up in the middle because we're going to measure them at the end and see who the winner is. Oh, I'm going to go one more jump. One more big jump here. Hands up. Swing. Oh, a little bit further, all right? Good job. I see everyone having a crack at that. Well done, Zena. Oh, Sasha with the big run up. I like it. That's a high jump and a long jump. <laughs> We've got a hurdle there. Good job, Zena. Good job, Harrison. How far? Okay, so once you've done three or four, now we need to count, okay? So this is a bit of an honesty policy, but I'm going to start. Back at my cone here, I'm going to use my feet as a measurement. Okay, so that's where it's scaled for everyone because my feet should be bigger than yours. So I'm going to start and I'm just going to go heel to toe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven feet. We'll call it seven feet. Okay, so for those that weren't watching, I'm going heel to toe. So I'm bringing my heel to that toe. You go to that toe. It's a really official method of unit of measurement used at the Olympics, okay? <laughs> Heel to toe. So, is, did anyone beat seven? I did seven. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, is that Harvey? Me? Well done, Harvey. Seven, that's unreal. Good job, mate. Eight. Eight for Arnav. Well done, Arnav. How'd you go, Patty? Oh, maybe nice. nine. How'd you go, Patty? 15. 15, wow. <laughs> how, how far did you jump? Eight from Eve, well done. Good job. How'd you go, Ollie? Just running around, you, are you still measuring? <laughs> All right, does everyone have a seat? Does anyone have, does everyone have somewhere they can sit? If not, if not, who was that? If 1,500. If not, you'll need a wall. Grab it, try and get Legend's sister got 115 apparently. <laughs> well done, guys. All right. So for this next one, for this next one, what we're gonna do is uh yeah. So for this next one, what we're gonna do is it's a bit of ball handling, okay? So it's a bit of bit of a challenge. You just need a wall. So we're gonna do you either need a wall or a chair, okay? If you have a chair. That is preferable, okay? I don't have a chair out here in the shed today, but I do have a wall behind me here, 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit against the wall. It's going to be like my imaginary chair. But if you have a chair, just sit down in that chair so that you've got enough space to be able to dribble the ball underneath your legs. Okay, so see how I can dribble underneath my legs here? So this is just a little seated ball handling drill. All right, this is just a little seated ball handling drill. We're going to do a bit of a competition, okay, in honour of our, our rollers and our gliders, okay, our wheelchair basketballers. We're going to do a seated ball handling challenge. Wall. You weren't able to see the wall. That's okay. I don't need to see you, mate. It's just a, it's a, um, a truly uh, uh, honesty policy. Okay, I trust you, Ollie. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to sit down. The first challenge. So we're either sitting on a chair or we're doing a wall sit with our back and our bums against the wall. The first, first drill is we're going to go for 30 seconds. We're going to go for 30 seconds to see who can get as many crossovers. Just You aren't allowed crossover. to see us if we do it. That's okay. That's fine. I don't need to see you. All good. Just jump to your chair or your wall and we're going to do, you can either go crossovers through the legs, okay, or you can go crossovers over your body. I need you to count how many crossovers you get in 30 seconds. We ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. One, go, as quickly as you can, as many crossovers as you can get. So bouncing the ball, one side of your body, then wrapping it over, bouncing the other side. Here we go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That's halfway, Millie. Halfway, I'm going to go through the legs now. So we're seated. Make sure we're seated. We're sitting on a chair or we're sitting against a wall, keeping account of our crossovers. Try and wrap it over your body. Keep going. Three. Two, one. Okay, stop there. How many crossovers did we get? Nine. Policy. Nine. Nine. Well done. Hundred. Hundred. You must have been going that quick. Who got up? I did Hundred. How did, how did you do Twenty-nine from Eve. That's a really good number. If you're going through your leg, you know. I did thirty-two. Seconds. Perfect. So thirty seconds. That means you're handling the ball. You're doing one crossover a second. Well done. That's really good. Okay. So that's a good little one. We we get used to getting uh, get some uh, getting some conditioning into our legs with our wall sits. Okay. If you were sitting on a chair, that's okay as well. All right. Just remember that the Paralympics are on right now. Remember that the Paralympics are on right now. And it's a great opportunity to watch some high-level sport, okay? It's not, not just about the Olympics, it's about the Paralympics as well, guys. So that's why we do that seated one. So well done. So we've, got, we've done our long jump and we've done our seated crossover. Okay, we might move to our quiz now, guys. So if everyone wants to come to the camera, we're going to finish off with our quiz and a little bit of a cool down, okay? I'm just going to bring my camera down so you guys can see me. If you're outside, try and find somewhere that's not as dirty as what my shed is. <laughs> I've got my yoga mat, thankfully. I can sit on that. I can sit on the edge of Luna's bed. Okay, here we go. So we're going to do our, our quiz to finish off. You guys can say hi to Luna here. There's Luna, it's just chilling out. Okay. So our quiz. Let me just share the screen here once we get started. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Sunday trivia. Sunday. All right. Okay. Can everyone see that now? Give me a thumbs up if you can see that. Yep, thumbs up. You can see the trivia beginner session. You guys know the rules by now, hopefully. Okay, let me just get this started. Okay, you guys should know the rules by now. First person to click up, click the thumbs up. Okay, if you're on an iPad or an iPhone, you've got the, the little three little dots up the top there where you find the chat function and everything where everyone's been, Omar's been writing that he got 987 crossovers. I think the clown emoji is very, very good. 
Okay, so you got the thumbs up or you can just give me a thumbs up on your camera. I can see everyone. Okay, I'll try and give everyone a go today, all right? Here we go. Oh, who's drawing? Oh, no, naughty. Stop drawing. <laughs> who's that, Harrison? Okay, here we go. First question, what is the most common type of pass in basketball court? Here comes the rain. Pass. Is that Aya? Aya, do you want to answer yeah, that? Yeah, pass. Pass. Now, what is the most common type of pass? Chest pass. Chest pass. Yeah, chest pass. Well done, Aya. So, a chest pass. <laughs> What's... Good job. Who who has another type of pass? Not not you, I asked someone else. Can you name? We did them last week. Is that Zena? Did you have your hand Bounce up, Zena? Bounce. Oh, that's right, Zena. Cooper, make sure you make sure you wait until your name's called. Good job, Zena. So bounce pass. Stay on mute until your name's called, guys. So bounce pass and chest pass. Well done. Okay, here's a good one for you. So we just did seated crossovers. We just did seated crossovers in honour of our Paralympians, okay? What is the name of the Australian men's wheelchair basketball team? Always. Hang on, who keeps doing that? Don't yell out. You've got to give a thumbs up and I've got to see you. Otherwise, <laughs> go on, Imi. Is that Imi? You want to have a go? Is that Imi? You got the thumbs up there? I don't think it's Imi, but who's that? Imi Mary. Yeah, yeah so Max. Wheelie. It's Max, and I know your hat. It is Willie. So Wheelie. Wheelie. I'm Emmy. Oh, you're Emmy, and you're. It's not the Wheelies. Very oh, close. Okay. It's a similar word. Oh. My granddad said that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> granddad, come on, Granddad. Starts with an R. Does anyone know? That's close. I think it might have used to have been the Wheelies. Hashim, do you know? Oh, Harvey. Harvey, you have a crack. Go on, Harvey. Sorry, Vivian, I just saw you, but Harvey's in first. Go, Harvey. Oh, I can see. I can read your lips, mate. I reckon you've got it. Rollers. The rollers. Well done, mate. It is the rollers. Well done, Harvey. Good job. Excellent. All right, next question. Name one team in the NBA. We had this question last week, but I want you to name another team. There's a little hint there. So there's Leilani Mitchell, all right? The bonus point, if you can name a team that an Australian plays for. So if you know who Leilani plays for, we haven't, we haven't um, mentioned that team. Did you say NBA? WNBA. Eve, do you have your thumbs up or is that just up from last time, Eve? No, nah, Eve's gone. Um, I have my hands up. Okay, go on, Eve. What's a name one WNBA team? Um, the Opals. Oh, no, that's an international team. Very good answer. That's the Australian women's team. But this is a professional league in, the, in, the, in America. So the women's, women's NBA. Harrison, do you know the answer? Um, yeah, my brother. Uh, the Warriors? No, no. Golden State Warriors are in the w, uh, sorry, N NBA. Vivian, NBA. do you know? Yeah, we want WNBA. Vivian, do you have an answer? No. New York. New York. Well done. Good job. Do you know what they're called? The New York what? Oh. Lippity. Well done. Who plays for them? Which Australian plays for There's two Australians that play for them now, I think. Sure. Not sure? Yeah. Beck Allen. Beck Allen plays for New York Liberty. Well yeah. done, though. That's a great answer. Leilani Mitchell, just for reference, you Leilani Mitchell in this picture plays for Washington Mystics. The Washington Mystics. All right, how many NBA teams, don't call out, how many NBA teams has Patty Mills played for? Bit of a trick question, but I'll, I'll give you, I'll accept two answers. Let's look for someone else. We'll go, uh, let's go, who else has got a thumbs up there? We've got an answer. Uh, let's go, Patty. What do you got, mate? I reckon you'll get it based on what you're wearing. One day. Who was that? Sorry. Say. One team. Sam. One team. Oh, that's incorrect. Oh, he's really? actually, 
Yeah, he's technically, he's actually technically played for three, but he hasn't taken the court for the jersey that your son's wearing right now. Yeah. <laughs> but he hasn't taken, so I would accept three, but I'll also accept two. Who knows where he first played? So I think everyone knows. I think everyone knows, I think everyone knows, I think everyone knows that he played uh, at, at San Antonio Spurs. Is that fair to say? But who knows the other team he played for? This is a bit of a tougher question now. I really just wanted to know how many teams. I would have accepted three or two. Does anyone know? Omar, do you know which team he first played for? Starts with a P. Um, it was, what was it again? Um, nah, let's quickly, three, two, one. Go Zena. I reckon Zena knows. Got the thumbs up there right at the camera. I can see you. Trailblazers. Trailblazers. Portland. Well done. The Portland Trailblazers. He did. He started his NBA career in Portland and moved to San Antonio. He's just recently signed with the Brooklyn Nets. So he's technically only played for two, but he will have played for three by the time this next season starts. Well done. All right, really quick. Really quick, who am I? We haven't done this before, I don't think, with this younger group. But this is – this should, we, I hope we get this one. Who am I? I was born in Albury, New South Wales. So I was born in Albury, New South Wales. This person might, might just be the face of Aussie Hoops in Australia, the Aussie Hoops program. My father, Gary, and my mother, Marie, both played basketball for Australia. Feel free to chuck your thumbs up at any time. I'll even accept. Yeah, go on, Harrison. Yep. Um, the, oh, Paddy Mills. No, nah, it's not Paddy. It's not Paddy. Good try, though. Zach or Ollie, do you know it? And I don't want an answer from Zach or Dante Exum? Dante Exum? No, it's not Dante Exum. All right, let's Del keep moving. It's not Della Vadova. I first, I first played in the WNBL with the AIS and Canberra Capitals before embarking on a long and successful WNBA career with the Seattle Storm. So it's a women's, it's a female player. Harvey, do you know it? Harvey. Lauren Jackson. Well done, Harvey. Lauren Jackson. Good job. My number, number 15, is retired by the storm. She won two WNBA championships, three WNBA MVPs, a gold medal at the 2006 World Champs um, with the Opals. Also a three-time, I think, Olympic silver medalist. Um, she is regarded as one of the greatest female basketballers of all time, probably the greatest, and that is Lauren Jackson. So... The stadium in Albury Wodonga is named after her. That's, yeah, she is an absolute legend of the game, male or female. She might be the greatest Australian basketballer of all time. So, all right, guys, that's it from me today. Thank you for joining me on a funny, uh, funny afternoon. It's sunny, but there's rain. I would have loved to have been outside shooting on my hoop. Hopefully, it's not raining where you are. If it is, um, stay active inside Thank as much as possible. You. You are welcome, guys. We'll see you next week. Stay active. Do your chores. Bye. Do your Bye. Harvey. Right. Bye. We'll see you next week. Do your homework. Be good Bye. to your parents. We don't have homework. Bye. You have homework. You can always have homework. Go Bye, read a book. Everyone. See you, Cooper. Well done, mate. Right. Bye. Senna. Well done, Senna. Bye. Good job. Portland Trail Blazers. Well done. Good job. Hell of an answer. See you, guys. Bye. <laughs> see you later. See you guys. See you later. See you next week, guys. See you, Patty. See you, Omar and I.